On March 14, 2020, officers from the Hot Springs Police Department responded to Hollywood Park following reports of gunshots around 11.30 p.m. Upon arrival, they discovered the body of 20-year-old Joshua Severns, who was found deceased with his pockets turned inside out, missing his cell phone and wallet, indicating a possible robbery. A knife was found in his back pocket, and two spent 45 caliber casings were located near his body. Witnesses in the vicinity reported hearing a gunshot followed by shouting, followed by another gunshot several seconds later. An autopsy conducted at the state crime lab confirmed that Severns had been shot twice, once in the chest and once in the head. Detective Sergeant Scott Lampinen, leading the investigation, interviewed two witnesses who had been with Severns earlier in the evening. They revealed that Severns had arranged to meet an unknown female through an online social media app to sell her approximately an ounce of marijuana and engage in an intimate encounter. Initially planning to meet at Hot Springs World Class High School, the location was changed by the female to her residence in the same area, though Severns did not disclose the exact address. He left his residence on Rector Street at 9.20 p.m., taking along the marijuana, his cell phone, and wallet. As the investigation unfolded, witnesses mentioned an ongoing dispute involving Severns and his friends with a 17-year-old male named Peyton Mann and his associates. Detectives interviewed everyone involved in the dispute, including Peyton, on March 26, 2020. Initially claiming to have been at home with his girlfriend, Alyssa Andre, watching movies, both Peyton and Andre were found to have provided false statements after warrants were issued for Joshua's social media accounts and Peyton's cell phone data. Subsequently, a warrant was issued for Peyton's arrest, leading to the following footage capturing his apprehension. One on five traffic stop. One on five. Arkansas nine six three Young Victor Tom Gold C R V. Copy location. Yeah, Spring and Paul. Copy. Driver, go ahead and turn off the car. Stick your other hand out the window. Driver, stick your hand. All right. Open your door with your left hand. Open your door with your left hand, driver only. Step out. Step out. Turn away from me. Walk back here to the sound of my voice. Come on back. Back. Come on back. 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 Come on back. Back. All the way. Get down on your knees. On you. Stand up. What do you have? I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea. I
After being apprehended, Peyton was taken to the Hot Springs Police Department for questioning regarding oh, his man. potential involvement in the death of I Joshua am. Severance. Same old, same old. I got a warrant for it. Capital murder and aggravated robbery. Capital murder? Yes, sir. Being charged in the death of Joshua Severin. No, I'm not being charged with that. We'll get into that here in a little bit. Um, I talked to your grandma. She said you moved out. Where are you living at now? I've just been couch shopping. Where? Couch shopping. So we can probably still use your grandma's address as the yes, sir. correct address? That's it. Sir, um, we'll talk about that here in just one second, okay? I'm so confused. Because we got to do some paperwork before we talk about that, all right, man? Yes, sir. You know, I give everybody an opportunity to be truthful. And, um, and the key thing in this case is always whether or not a person's remorseful about what happened. But we'll talk about that, all right? Yes, sir. What's your telephone number, Peyton? My phone's off, sir. I don't really know what, the you, you don't know the number... Okay, no, you sir, just use it for Wi-Fi and stuff? It's a Wi-Fi phone. I just had it on, but it was like, it's, I just got it for my birthday. Because your birthday was just the other day, right? It was June 28th. Yeah, 628. Because you're now 18, right? Just turned 18, yes, sir. Uh, where are you born, City and State? Here in Hot Springs. What's your social security number? I don't know, sir. I really don't know. You don't, you don't know it offhand? Okay. Uh, white male, eighteen. Blah, blah blah. Is it black hair? Or, or is it's brown hair. I got my, brown. I, my natural color is brown. And your eyeballs? Brown. 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 They changed the hazel to brown. You know how that goes. Yeah, that. Yeah. How much you wear right now? I have no clue, sir. Probably about buck thirty, maybe. Yes, sir. How tall are you? Five six. Five six. Uh, let's see your tattoos. What do you got there? Um, you got love on the inside of the right forearm. Yes, sir. Inside. If you're in my stomach around, don't bother, don't worry about it. I yes, sir. Had eaten lunch today. Um, you also got. Uh, I got uh, these. I got these. I got Martin's name, and then I got that, and then. Okay. That's what the, it was to say. Uh, short days and long nights. Okay, four twenty, obviously for weed. Blah, yes, blah, blah. sir. What is that? Rager. Okay, and ten eight of nineteen. What is that? It's a. X. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's at school, yes, sir. X, X, who? Uh, Heather. Who? Heather. Heather? Is that your girlfriend, I guess? At the time, yeah. It was a so little hard at the last. What is it? 10 what? Uh, 10 08 19. 10 08 19. And I got the dead face, yeah. you know, just a death smile, and the sad yeah. face smile. Yeah. So I just do the, the easy ones that have specific stuff on there. That's left. Left forearm. Are you working on her right now? No, sir. I was just filling out the applications. Uh, I know uh, when you came in here a while back, you were doing some work for uh, my dad. Or is your dad the, yeah. the sawmill thing? Yeah. Okay. But you're not doing that anymore? No, sir. Uh, do you want to use your mom or your grandma as a nearest relative in case something? My grandma. I guess uh -huh. I don't speak to my mom much. Is it Tammy or is it Tam Tamra? Okay. It's Tammy. And with a Y? Yes, sir. That's Grandma. And her number is five. All right, um, right now you have no bond because these are class Y felonies, okay? Yes, sir. Um, we're going to do what's called a bail determination form. Uh, when you have your first initial appearance in front of the judge, the judge looks over this form, and actually you do have a bond. It's 500000 I forgot about that. Yeah, it's 500000 Do they go half price on it? Well, that'll be uh, when we fill this uh, bail determination form out. 
Um, the judge will look at all the information contained in the affidavit and the, the forms and determine whether or not um, the bond needs to be adjusted. Bond has to be reasonable. Um, but, you know, because you're being charged with capital murder yes. or aggravated robbery, it's, it's going to be a little high. Um, but this will help them determine whether or not you can, you know, get a lower bond or whatever. Um, how long have you been living technically over at uh, your grandma's? My whole life. My whole life. Okay, so you've been on the Spring Street or the entire time? Because of yours, we, we, we lived from we lived in Sonnet, on Sonnet growing up, and then we moved around in Hot Springs. Like we lived at a hot. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm honest, but we had the PJs for a good while. Now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I just put lifetime on it. Yeah. That'd be fun, it's good. Yeah. And but Tammy, I don't know your social. Don't know phone number. Uh, I know my Anna got it for sure though. She what? She got my social and stuff like that. For yeah, sure. I just don't okay. know about her. So. Well, I'm sure because uh, you did you went to DYS and stuff. Yeah, I went to DYS. Um, then they'll have some of that information if we need it. Which I'm not too worried about that. Uh, you're single. So am I allowed to ask questions and stuff, sir? Well, let's uh, let's do all this first, yeah, I'm just and then I'm gonna lay it out for you, and then we can talk about it, okay? Yes. And I, and I'll 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 go over everything with you and let you you know understand. Uh, what we're working with here and uh, and whether or not you want to be truthful, okay? Yes, sir. And we'll, we'll deal with that at that point in time. Let's do this first. Let me give that to the other guys. We'll get that paperwork rolling. Um, either way, you're going to jail today. I know, man. Right. So, um, uh, how long have you been unemployed? Um, say, sir, I really have not answer that. I mean, you've been, uh, since the last time I talked to you about like... So just a couple months? That. Okay. Yeah, just a couple months. So let's just put two months. Uh, on salary. Uh, you're not on probation or parole right now, right? Yes, sir. Um, you have any felony convictions? Uh, just, I mean, just. No, no, no conviction, not arrest, a conviction. No, no sir. You went to DYS on some, I mean, that's. I went to DYS on just like little petty stuff. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, you're not on bond? Any, anything right now? No, sir. Uh, do you have any kids? No, I got one away. Oh yeah, who was that with? Thank you. Uh, uh, so you don't have one now, but yeah, well, yeah she's got one on way. Just, just found out. When did you last talk to her? Today. Today. Um. So obviously, right now you're only supporting yourself. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, what kind of property do you own then? No, no property, sir. Yeah. Uh, do you have any credit card debt or medical bills or anything like that? No, sir. Okay. Uh, you're not on bond right now, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, you're not on bond right now, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, you're not on bond right now, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, you're not on bond right now, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, you're not on bond right now, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, you're not on bond right now, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, you're not on bond right now, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, you're not on bond Robert, Jason, Do you know his address? No, sir, I don't know about her. Okay. Do you know what street he lives on? Um, he just lives right down the street from Spring Street. Like, all right, you know where the gas station is right there at the light? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Is that, not the street, not going down Spring Street, but the one right over right there? Well, like, right. street. Yeah, there's a little, little small little street between yeah. Grand and... I think that's Yeah, I don't know the number or whatnot, but that's where he definitely lives. Do you know his phone number offhand? No, sir. Okay. Uh, if we need to get a phone number off your phone, what what's your code to your phone? Um, two one one four. But you don't know your dad or your mom's phone number offhand, no, or sir. grandma's. I know grandma's just by heart. That's yeah. Not, that's yeah. Not, well, I mean, yeah, we got that one. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, we already had that one. Just in case I'm happy, we need to, to get a phone number. Oh, uh, what was it? 2114, that's right. All right, so everything that we just went over, like I said, the judge is going to look at to see whether or not your bond needs to be uh, hired or lowered um, or anything like that, okay? Um, and if you do make bond, okay, you have to 
uh, pay attention. Do you read and write and understand the English language? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, what what level of uh, education did you get? Um, just a little bit of high school, and then I dropped out because I mean no excuses, but yeah. in that situation, more I just didn't have no faith in school no more. Yeah. Oh, well, school didn't kill more. I know school didn't kill more. It's just I, mean, I don't kill more. Yeah, but just I had, had do it. I had a lot of people. I just have a lot of mental stress at the time, and anxiety, and just a lot of people were just wanting to do it. Well, what grade did you actually complete? Eight. So you dropped out in eight? Well, I think I dropped out in ninth. Okay. I think I dropped out in ninth. Did you, did you get your GED or any kind of technical stuff? I was stuff? working on it. I was working on it. Middle and coronavirus yeah. stuff came out. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, that kind of missed a lot of people. Yeah, took a lot of hours me and stuff. But. Okay, well, I'm going to read this to you. You can read along, okay? Uh, as you're reading and writing, okay? okay. Yes, sir. Uh, basically, it says, uh, and when I say I, I mean you. I'm going to say you. Yes, sir. Uh, you understand that if you were released on bond, you would be required to appear and attend all the hearings and trial of your case. Further, you understand that you must not notify the clerk of the court, your attorney, your bondsman, of any change of address or telephone numbers. You further understand that the court clerk will notify both your attorney and your bondsman of all dates of hearings and trials, and that your notice of trial will be mailed by the clerk to the address given on this form, which would be that That seems to be a pretty good address for you, okay? Uh, you further understand that if you fail to appear promptly at the dates and times set by the clerk for set hearings and trial, you will subject yourself to arrest and charges of... Uh, the first one is going to be contempt of court under the Arkansas statute 554-108, which is a um, of willful disobedience of an order of the court and its process lawfully issued and made by it with possible punishments of not more than $50 and or up to 10 days in jail or any combination thereof. Yes, sir. That's just a contempt charge. Uh, the next one would be failure to appear under Arkansas Code 1654-120 for having, having lawfully been set um, at a liberty, which is being let out. Mm -hmm. uh, upon the condition that you appear, because you're promising to appear. Uh, and you understand that since you're being charged with a felony, the punishment would be, would be that of a Class C felony with punishment, with possible punishment up to three to ten years in the custody of the Department of Corrections or both. The defendant, which is yourself, represents that you have read and subscribed to the above information and you state uh, and states that the informa <coughs> information given um, therein is true and correct and understands that it is your responsibility to notify this court through the clerk's office of any of the change in the above information. So basically what it's saying is all the information that you and I just went over, where you live, phone numbers, addresses, all that kind of stuff, that's true and correct, you're swearing to that. And um, so when the judge looked at that, he understands, or she, um, that you have a full understanding of the bail termination phone numbers went over, okay? Uh, Peyton, if you would you sign right there for me? That's fine. Hey, I've so seen a lot worse. Honestly, I wish I could have graduated school. I look back on me when I turned 18 and I started thinking, I was like, yeah, man, really Yeah, because then you're stuck with, you know, okay, what am I, what am I going to do? Uh, let me go get this to him real quick. And then go ahead to ask questions. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to read you your rights and do all that. I'm going to come back. And then you can tell me what you want to or need to tell me and ask whatever questions you need to ask. Some of them I can or cannot answer. Yes, sir, I understand. And I'm we'll go over that. Nice. So let me. Yeah, uh, I'm just confused with how like I'm gonna drag into it. I'll 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 tell you. All right. All right. All right. It is one o'clock. Thirteen hundred hours. All right, Peyton, slip up here for me, and I'm gonna read these to you real quick. Make sure you understand what your rights are. Okay. Before I ask any questions, you must understand what your rights are. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to request an attorney of your choice. If you cannot afford an attorney and want one, an attorney will be brought up no cost to you. You have the right to have an attorney present during questioning. If you decide to answer questions now without an attorney present, you still have the right to stop answering any time. You understand those? Yes, sir. If you would just put your initials out next to each one of those, indicating you understand each one of those rights. Okay. I'm going to read this waiver to you real quick. Uh, Detective Lampman has advised you of rights and you understand them. By giving me a statement answering questions, you are waiving your right to remain silent and have an attorney at this time. 
However, you understand that you can request an attorney at any time. No promise or threats are being made to you, and no pressure or force of any kind is being used against you. Okay? Yes, sir. Just sign right there, and then can you understand what the waiver is? Yes, sir. Sorry, I got a lot of hair. I can't see. Yeah, you got the, what do they call it? Let's cut the sides and back. We're going to grow it out, and then I was going to cut it the right length when I grew all the dead stuff out from the dye. In other words, you're trying to get a specific type of look? No, I was just going to clean it up and get ready for a job and stuff. I was going to put plan fading and lining it up. That's what I was going to do. Okay. Well, as I told you earlier, being charged with capital murder and every robbery for the death and murder of Joshua Severns, it goes by easy. Based on my investigation, probable cause was developed to arrest you, okay? Yes, sir. What probable cause is? You know what probable cause is? Yes, sir. When facts that are, you know, um, obtained during the course of investigation uh, would lead a reasonable, prudent person to believe that you committed this crime. Yes, sir. Okay? So I brought you in here previously, and we talked, and you said you and Alyssa were watching scary movies at your house. Your grandma said that she'd gone to bed early and that you and Alyssa were there, uh, but she didn't remember what time it was that she dozed off or whatever. Long story short is um, during the course of my investigation, okay, which included multiple, multiple search warrants to Instagram, Facebook, and all these other things, uh, probable cause was developed for your arrest. Yes, I know you were there. Okay. Um, and I'm not going to get into too much of the facts. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, but suffice to say that I got Alyssa's phone. Okay. And I did a search warrant on her phone. And there were some very um, incriminating things on there. Yes, uh, to include numerous other witnesses that were at Nick's house that night, okay, that know that you and Alyssa came, went over there. You guys planned this. You were using her old Instagram account, set him up, went to go meet him. He was taking too long. You set it up for the other place at Hollywood Park, and he was murdered, okay? And only facts that I know that happened were relayed to me out of your mouth, okay? So the problem is, okay, and here's, we'll, we'll get to that here in a minute. You know, this isn't, you know, a whodunit, okay? You and Alberto were there, okay? And everybody had the same story. And those facts could have only been known by the person that pulled the trigger. Okay? Yes, sir. Capital murder carries the death penalty or life without the possibility of parole. Yes, sir. I understand that. That's usually given to people that have zero remorse for their crimes. And everybody that I've talked to has said the same thing. You had zero remorse. I've got your Snapchat that you sent where you said, yeah, you may be mad at me, but your homie's still dead. Ha ha. And you point that gun. The reason that I camp. said that was because they came at me accusing yeah. me of it, and I did yeah. not. I mean, yeah, I, well, I've got that. I mean, you. I know you're an officer, and I know you like yeah. you got word of mouth, but sir, I, I can't. I mean, there's nothing I can say right now. But I, I can. All I can say is I, I was over there. I went to Nick's before. Nick was a good friend of mine mm -hmm. at a time period, but I, I started slowly cutting them off, and mm -hmm. I quit messing with them, and I, I was where I was at. I was at that night. Mm -hmm. You were over at Nick's house. No, I was at my mm -hmm. I was the, during the daytime, like early that morning, I visited him, but I was not over there. Well, you know, everybody's cell phone, whether they realize it or not, has ability to tell me where it's at. Yes, sir. Okay. Even if you try to turn certain stuff off. So when I got Alyssa's Gmail information from Google, and along with Joshua's and some other people's, um, you know, like this Instagram 4K FFF Funny Kid, which was used to set him up. What is that? No, that's the Instagram account that was used to set Joshua up. 
Anywho, uh, getting back to what we're talking about here. If you're going to sit here and tell me that you have no remorse for what you did to Josh, that you don't care. I mean, I do, about, I do care because, I mean. No, because everybody I've talked to says that you haven't given one damn about it. Who's everybody? I don't chill with everybody. I don't, I'm don't. i usually by myself with my girlfriend or, I mean, you know, I was chilling with Hayden. I mean, y'all know that. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, other than that, I didn't chill with nobody else. Besides, at the time period, I was chilling with Myron. Mm -hmm. You knew that mm -hmm. because that's the new brother. I was chilling with Josh. But Alyssa. Alyssa, but everybody. It's Alberto. Alberto, I ain't chilled with him that much. I chilled with him mm -hmm. a few times. I, I barely knew him. Well, he was there that night. He went with you. I didn't know. I didn't mm -hmm. chill with him that day. I did not see him that day. Like, sir, like, how would I know about Alberto? I don't know, sir. I don't know. People tell me mm. so that I don't. I mean, I don't. I can't. I don't know. Like, literally. Well, if, these people I talked to had information that only the person who pulled the trigger would have known. I mean, is it and, is it is it, to is a it facts or is it stuff they told no, you? No facts. No facts, facts that I facts of the case that I only I knew. Because there's certain I, things that happen I mean, in the crime scene. That when we do our our stuff, but that does not mean I other think. witnesses and other stuff that only the person who was there could have possibly known, and that was you. Yes, sir. You and Alberto went down there, okay. Shit went down. You thought he was going for a knife, okay. You robbed him of his his stuff and you threw it in the damn creek, which we searched. I can tell the results of that, okay. So, again, you can sit there and have zero remorse for what you do. All right. I just ain't gonna get fucked up. I know you didn't. Because, I mean, you know the rules of I know the game. you're a good person. You know the rules of the game, sir. And yeah. I just, I didn't want to get my hand hurt. And yeah. I did shut up for it, but I didn't pull the trigger, sir. Okay, well, tell me what happened. I just know what happened too, and I promise you, I do know what happened, and I, I do know I've heard so sorry. I just tell me what you want to tell me, sir. I can t I can tell you just what you told me too. I mean, that's what I'm saying. No, I'm not telling you to. Tell you. I want but, you to. I want you to tell me what happened, why it happened, and that you feel bad about what happened because that right now is probably the only thing that's saving the so rest of your me. life after a certain point. Yes, sir. I understand. So listen, sir. Alyssa was messing with me, and then she started messing with Alberto. Okay. And they were talking about previous issues with their school issues and stuff with Martin and all them and all that. Yeah, the fight with Logan and I'm, all yeah. that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, I was told he was gonna meet up with somebody. Who was gonna meet up with it? Alberto. Alberto. Okay. So then what? I was at Nick's. Huh? I was at Nick's. Yeah. And I stayed the night over there. Nana didn't. Nana did see me there the night before she went to sleep. But when mm -hmm. she went to sleep, I did leave with right. Alyssa to pull up to Nick's and smoke with them, smoke weed. Right. And they said they're gonna meet up with somebody. Mm -hmm. And I was like, all right. I was like, we're gonna meet up with somebody. And I mean, he kind of gave us a heads up. It wasn't like you know what I mean, like, like something wasn't right. But I knew, I knew basically kind of what intent was, and I didn't expect. I didn't know who it was at the time. Mm -hmm. At the time I didn't, and then he ran back, and I was showing him. So you didn't go with him? No, sir. I did not go with him. Then, like that's one thing I can vouch for. I did not go with him. But I, do, <laughs> I do know. And who left with him? I don't know. Like he, well, met, he was meeting up. It's Nick, Detriana, you, Alyssa, and Alberto. That was not it. That was there. Who else was there? There was um. There was. Vanessa, that's what's your next mom. Yeah, uh, but she's in the front. Yeah, she's yeah. in the back. Uh, Silas had company. Who? Silas, her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. He had company, and there was like a light-skinned teenage power dude. I don't know his name, but he was power or whatnot. Mm -hmm. And he was cool with Alberto because they're both the same set. Mm -hmm. And I mean, okay, that's all I know. Was so you know, but in the room, in Nick's room, when the conversation was going down about Joshua. Easy. Easy. Afterwards? Yeah. Well, before that. Uh, he didn't tell us. Because everybody that was in her room says that you and Alyssa were using her old Instagram account 
to lure Josh over there because Josh had a crush, allegedly, on Alyssa back in school. And y'all didn't have money for weed. You knew Josh sold a little bit of weed. And then you guys used that old Instagram of hers to set it up, right? Alberto and Alyssa did. Okay, so Alberto and Alyssa did. So you knew what was going on. Y'all are in that room. Patriana, Nick, you, Alberto, Alyssa. The other people were probably filtering around in the house. Correct? They're they're around. They're All right. sitting around, okay. you know, chilling, smoking. Right. I was we helped them clean their room up a little bit, you know, right. base regular stuff, you know what I mean? Your well, where was Alberto supposed to go? The first time? Mm hmm He was supposed to he said he knew a bandit house. Uh -huh. I said no. I don't know where, where, yeah, where was that or anything. That's all I was told, sir. On okay. that part. And, and then what? He came back to Eddie and with some people, which I, I didn't. I knew one other name besides him. And who was that? And I, Nick was with him. They came back to Eddie. So Nick went with Alberto the first time. What do you mean the first time? Went to the band that they told him about and. Mm -hmm. That's when I arrived to meet up with them because I had a little weed. I didn't have much. I had three grams maybe. Just enough for like three points. Mm -hmm. And to smoke with them because, you know, they smoked with me and Nick's birthday was coming up. And, you know, mm -hmm. smoke with them and then. The, what I told you. Well, you know, we're, we're, we're kind of getting there. Okay, yes, sir. But I've got a lot more stuff. Sir, I'll, I'll answer everything truth. You know, I mean, there's, there's no reason to keep it back. Well, I you, just, I just you told Nakia, you told Alyssa certain facts about the case that only the shooter could have known. Like, you see where this is going, son? Yeah, I see where it's going. Because there's no direction towards me. Yeah, I'm well, here, here's the thing. I know Alberto was there, but I know you were there as well, okay? You know, along with just historical records and and stuff along those lines, you know, there's you holding a high point forty five caliber handgun, okay, with Alyssa. We got, you know, some of these, they're kind of small, you can't read them on this little form here. Uh, that was sent to y'all from his messenger account, Josh's. But there's uh, a lot of stuff on her phone, Alyssa's phone, that she tried to delete. Um, and you know when you take a picture on your phone? It saves into the drive. Yeah, it saves into the drive, and it, it, it has what we call a geocache, which tells you the date, the time, and everything. and everything associated with it. One of the pictures on there was was of a person wearing a green Louis Vuitton ski mask that appears to be taken at the exact date and time of the homicide. Uh, I forgot where that was at. Anywho. They're hard to see on these little thumbnails because you can screen, you know, bring them up. But she she tried to delete all these pictures of you and her and and all that. But there's a, a you know these uh, Louis Vuitton ski mask and it's got all these all this stuff and it tells us the date and yeah, time. Yeah, I did. I did own a Louis Vuitton ski mask at one point. But yeah. I mean, I sold it, but, but yeah. Um, because on all your stuff, you're wearing that ski mask. Yeah. Maybe you wearing that, holding some guns, smoking some blunts, pointing guns at the camera. Always wearing that green Louis Vuitton ski mask. Okay. Sir. So. And that was great, actually. My, the one I had was great. And mm -hmm. you can zoom in on it, and mm -hmm. it was great. I didn't. Um, well, I on those see. cameras, they all look exactly, they're the same color. Looks green to me, maybe on color or something but they're all the same color yes sir so here you are wearing a green Louis Vuitton ski mask there's a photograph on her phone because y'all took her phone with y'all to go do this deal uh, pretending to be Alyssa using her Instagram account or whatever Instagram that account that was um, and lured Josh down there first to that vacant house over on 310 Cayuca Street Okay. He said what? what 310 Cayuca Street. Is that the, is, mm -hmm. that's yeah. the street? Yeah, that's the house. Because y'all told him to go to that house. Prior to him leaving, prior to you and Alberto leaving the house, y'all told him that's where to go. I mean, 
I know that's right. And that's on his phone? Because he was searching for directions to that, that, that address. I went by that address. It's a, it's a vacant house, exactly what you said. But Alberto leaving by himself or with Nick and you know, all this other kind of stuff, okay, you're, you're leaving out yourself. And see, we both know that that's not true. And listen to me, okay? You're not a bad kid, but you do some dumb stuff and you get something wrapped up in your brain and it goes south in a minute. I don't know if it's some explosive disorder or something like that, I don't know. But remorse. You see, yeah. I just don't know what happened on here and I don't want them to find out. Well, you, I already told you, we ran a search warrant on your no, name. I'm not talking about that, sir. I'm just talking about people, like certain mm -hmm. people. I don't want nothing to have them on the banana, bro. Well, because I've been having. Crazy ass threats lately, and I just that's mm -hmm. that's the reason I've been staying on my ass. But, I don't want no one to get hurt. But see, here's the thing you know, if, if you're honest, not only does that help you, it's going to help your nana, it's going to help Josh's family understand, you know, what that the person that took Josh's life wasn't a cold blooded killer, he was a kid that made a mistake. Okay, but you sitting here trying to blow smoke up my ass that you weren't with Alberto. That you were the one that did shoot him. That you threw I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't shoot him. I was with him. Yes, sir. I was with him. I just don't. I'm, 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 I don't. I'm 18, bro. Yeah. I'm fucking. I just turned 18, man. But here's something. Here's something. Just, yeah. But here's something to think about. You were 17 at the time. Now, normally, you know, obviously this is a, a capital case. You're charged know. as an adult. I know, sir. Okay. But that helps you out, okay, as young as you are. Because if you man up and you own this, okay, as an 18 year old kid who made a mistake, what's that going to tell these people later on down the line about you? Sir, uh, it's, it, you know what's going to, I'm, I'm sorry, it's going to tell them that he's not the cold blooded killer that we think he is. Maybe there is some some lack that we can salvage for this kid, okay? But, you know, not owning what you've done and trying to blame it on this other kid, Alberto, okay? I know he was there, I know you were there, obviously. I was there, but I... But you had the high point, 45 caliber handgun. I know you threw it in the lake, or the creek. You guys went back there the next day to try to find it, okay? The only thing that you need to do is be 100% honest about what happened and tell me that you're but not man, I'm, I'm scared as... <laughs> I I'm you're scared you're 18 years old. <laughs> How would your Nana feel if that was you in that, that rainy ditch? <laughs> yeah. It me. Sir, uh, I just need to know that you're I just not. Don't, I don't want to be forgotten about. I don't want to be known in the system and forgotten about. I'm done like the rest. I know this, I know this Black Lives Matter shit is going on. I don't want that to be as a look because I'm not racist yeah. or nothing, bro. No, but no one said anything about being racist. I'm, I'm saying just, that this occurred over some, over, over, over some stupid stuff, right? I'm scared of This guy a kid, like yourself, <laughs> made a horrible mistake. Try, but, but, try, but, trying to, but trying to blame some other kid doesn't help you out, okay? I don't want to sit there and point fingers like I was pressured, but... Uh -huh. <laughs> you told Alyssa that you did it because you thought, you know, something may come back on her. I mean, yeah, we, I got all this, okay? I just need you Sorry. to be honest with yourself first, okay? That you're not a cold-blooded killer. I'm not <laughs> All right. But we got to be truth to, to, to get to that point. We have to be truthful about what actually happened, how it occurred, what was going through your mind, what you were thinking, what you thought. Okay. So can we start at the beginning when you guys made over to Nick's and tell me how all that went down and what happened? Can you tell me one thing, though, sir? Yeah. Don't lie to me. Please, just be one hundred percent honest with me, sir. Oh. 
How much blue light do you want to take away from me? Well, you know, I don't know. I want to change the way. I'm coming, I'm coming from nothing. Yeah. I'm coming from nothing. I'm just... There's I'm going to be... just... Yeah. I want to... I want to... Right. <laughs> All right, sir. I'll but, say... But, yeah. I just don't... I don't... No, no. no I, I, I know you are. And I can't be I can't tell you what that's gonna look like later on down the line. All I can tell you is the truth about what things are looked at when these cases go to a judge or a jury or like that. And that is, was this person remorseful? You got everything stacked against him. There's no way he didn't commit this crime. It was me. Okay. Um just tell me the whole story from the beginning, man. It'll be easier for you to do that. I know my life's gone, sir. I mean, I know it's... You're going you're gonna to sit down for a while. I know, I know. But, but but what I'm saying is... I'm not rich. I'm not, I don't have enough money to get a regular attorney. I'm going to get a public defender. I'm going to be fun, yeah. sir. Well, no. We got, we, got, we, got, was, we got good people here, but you need to be honest with me. I'm going to be fully truthful for you, sir. And uh, Marlon's great. I'm just saying I'm telling the truth. Hey, and I've got Marlon's case, and we're fixing to deal with that as well. But... Uh, because I know who killed him, but it's just a matter of getting to there, okay? But right now, we need to talk about I'll tell you, I, I'll tell you, sir. All right, listen. It wasn't my intent at first. I swear to God, on Marlon's grave, it was not my intent at first. No. Um, there's been a, a few going back and forth. The difference is that our part didn't get told, you know what I mean? We didn't get told about when we got shot at, and we didn't tell about it because. Right, I. You know, you know I, the whole idea. Of I've been in, I've been doing this over twenty years. When I was hearing that part of it, I knew that there was probably another side of that, and I, I wasn't. You know, that's why I wasn't being that acute toward you guys about y'all being the, the main problem. So. Well, sir, they shot at Marlon, mm -hmm. and I oh, lost Marlon already. Mm -hmm. And Marlon, me and Marlon, I mean, we were close as hell. Yeah. I was there the right after it happened. I pulled up to the hospital and I literally was sitting there crying my fucking eyes out by his side, fresh out of jail. Mm -hmm. And I was just wanting to fucking do good at the time, and it just it shattered my fucking heart. But anyways, back to what I was saying, it's just they shot at mine a few times, and it just it was just a whole ordeal going on between both of us, and they just been threatening. Sh they've been shooting at different locations. That like we gave them fake locations because we didn't want them. You know, we were trying to steer them away from our parents and stuff, running yeah. out of this house and stuff. And my nana got s several threats of her house getting like been threatening to shoot my nana's house up multiple times. And I mean, there's not much I can do because I don't want to sit there and you know. Because if you're there, then you kind of you know make that place wherever you're at if they're trying to get I don't get know. You. I don't want my nana harmed or my little sister none of them because they don't deserve none of this they're, they're well we've had a lot going on that over there anyway so obviously you know we've got a lot of patrols there right I'm, now, so. I moved I moved away from over there because of the drama too yeah. and everything but anyway so I'm gonna hang out with Nick mm -hmm. and it was me Alberto and all our friends I'm I'm, cl I'm cl foggy minded but I'm telling you the truth sir I promise yeah. I'm on this grade and everybody was like, oh, we need to do a lick, we need to do a lick. And, and I'm like, at first I was just like, let's just figure out some way to make some money. I got three grams a week right here. I got, you know, mm -hmm. we're good. We don't need to do that. And we're trying to talk, but not when people ask their intent set. And okay. so I went. And but was that, because you had mentioned something a second ago about, you know, you don't want to blame other people for pressure, but the the mind the this mindset was we were going to rob somebody, yes, and, they, and they put you up to it, or was that something that that you just kind of agreed with and went along and that you do it, or how'd that how'd that go? They were sitting there and just at first they were just calling me and she was like, "I'll be in." Well, who's they? You know, Alberto, Nick, Dejan was in there, Alyssa. They all knew what was going on. Yeah. And none of them were stupid, you feel? No, oh, yeah, no, I know. And they, okay. and they, they was like, bro, you're the only one that owns anything like that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, but I mean, it's not for that reason. Mm -hmm. It's not for that reason at all. Yeah. It's for 
the everything that's been going on pre prior to that. Yeah. And what kind of gun was that? A high point. High point. High point forty five. You told me that uh, that jump man was carrying. He had one too. But well, we had pictures of him carrying it, like a nine or something. But anyway, so then what happened? Um. So he didn't show up, and we just walked back to Nick's house. And so you guys went to that that other house first, the vacant house. Were y'all waiting in the house? No, sir. Okay, y'all just waiting by the house. Yes, sir. Um, we never went on the property. Okay, you're just kind of hanging out there waiting for him to show. Yes, sir. Uh, now, did, did you just get that house out, or was it true that you said that Alberto did? I didn't know nothing about the house until that day. Okay. I never knew nothing about the house before that. Any, none of that. I really did not truly on Marlon's grave. I did not know nothing about it. Yeah, so when you guys were talking about Alberto, said he had a house. To I got a spy. I got a spy. And, and he had the first, address. First, mm -hmm. I didn't even have my gun mm -hmm. at the time. I didn't even have it. I wasn't even in my possession. Somebody else had it. And... They didn't show up, so we just walked back to Nick's, and we were just going to chill out for the night, and then we got the text that mm -hmm. he's, you know, what's going to happen? And he's like, oh, well, I need to get somewhere, blah, 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 the horror details. I wasn't really paying attention. I was really smoking the blunt. I really was. Mm -hmm. But it was getting set up. Uh, there was shit being texted. I didn't know. I mean, there's there's some shit in there I really don't know about, like the text messages or some shit I really don't know about. And So... They were handling setting this up. You didn't. You weren't yeah. like texting or using, because you know they were saying that you left with Alyssa's phone to continue, you know, making sure he showed up and all that. Is that you and Alberto, or was that mostly Alberto? That was most. That was mostly Alberto, sir. Okay. Um, so go ahead. And um, so we're just chilling now, and then we get the text message and. That's when they all got to looking at me weird and shit. And then they was just like, they was like, you got to do this now. And then they just basically, you know what I mean? Like, they was like, we, we, we need this. Um, there ain't no backing out of this. And just, I mean, I'm not going to sit there and I'm not going to put no words in nobody's mouth. But, you know what I mean? I'm just, I don't want no issues. And I wouldn't expect me to feel like that. I really wasn't. So I went down there and I just sat down and I just, you know, I prayed to myself and I was like I was like uh, I'm like please God just let this go good right please go let it go right mm -hmm. please don't let anything bad happen and I'm just like I'm, and I'm just you know basically telling myself I want to change and I want to get this lifestyle but it's I keep 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 getting pulled back and yeah. I just I, I, my area is a death trap for me and there's already as it is I, I had a bad reputation as a kid mm -hmm. and people would know me from that and I mean prior problems when I got out of jail, it's mm -hmm. still there. And I mean, I tried to get my... Misery loves company. Misery loves company. And mm -hmm. Never had another person leave Miss Josh. And it, and it, and it, in my head, I swear to God, I'm on this grave. It's in my head. And I, I literally hate it. I swear to God, I, I hate it. I, 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 I knew no one would forgive me. And I would, I just knew there that it was the end for mm -hmm. me. And I just... Well, let's, let's kind of back up because you said, you know, you think, you don't think any, you know, his family will forgive you, and there probably will be some people that won't forgive you. But of course, you know, I understand that though. I understand that I lost. Yeah. My but you know, I, I think he's to. he's got a really good family in that. You know, I they knew, understand. I, I knew Kenya a little bit just because the neighbors, and I met her afterwards, and I mean, it just hard up in there, my head up. Well, let's go back to because you said you were praying, and you were, I guess waiting on Josh and Alberto, and I was just praying he didn't show up. I was praying he didn't show up, it didn't go through. He got picked up by somebody, had other plans, and... Well, tell me what happened when he showed up. And Alberto was joking, you know, shit, and I'm like, bro, this is not nothing to play around with. And he came by, but he was just, he was acting weird. Who was? Josh. Josh, yeah. He was acting weird, and I just, I felt it in my chest. You know, I felt it in my chest that I was, I just, I was, I was scared, and I didn't know what to do, and I just... Stuck in this position, if I don't shoot or none of that shit, I'm, there's no telling what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. and, but I did shoot. I didn't shoot the first time. I didn't. He was walking through the park. I didn't shoot. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't. I was. Where were you at? Where, where were you and Alberto at? By the basketball court. Okay. 
because uh, obviously we found him over by the bathrooms. Um, so, so that's what I'm saying. Okay. So he was kind of milling around over there? He came from the downhill up there, you know, coming from the track. Yeah. And that's serious. I didn't do it first. I, I, I didn't. I didn't want to. Yeah. No, I, I didn't want. I did not want to. I, I just told myself I didn't want to. And I, I have someone in my ear, and I'm just sitting here fighting my own stress and mental stuff. And I just been going through a lot that time period. So plus, I was not even thinking right mentally, and I just was tired. Mm -hmm. I was just tired, and I was just. You know, I was Almost just, like you gave up inside a little bit. I just thing. lost hope. I didn't think shit was gonna get better. Uh, didn't think Marlon's case was gonna get solved. I didn't think life was gonna get better for me because it was back to back family shit kept happening. I kept getting kicked out of my ass and I had to find places to live. Mm -hmm. And this shit has been happening since I was before I was eighteen. Like when I was fourteen, oh, thirteen. Oh yeah, no, you, yeah, he was young, dude. Been ripping and roaring back then, dude. Even. I was fucking young, and I <laughs> mm -hmm. just fucking, you know, what I mean, I just, I, I didn't get the chance to do anything I wanted to do in life, and. I mean, I felt remorse. I did feel remorse, and I did, I, did, I felt I felt like shit. On am and grave. I felt like shit, and I walked up at first. I walked up, and I didn't. I didn't do it again. I saw. I didn't do it again. I hesitated again because I, I didn't want to do it. I swear to God, I did not want to do it. Marlon Grave. I did not want to do it, and he rushed. He rushed me. Josh did. All right. Well, I mean, what did you did you walk up and say something or what was? I walked up and said something. I I didn't. Uh, I didn't even pull it out just yet. Mm -hmm. I didn't even pull it out just yet. And then, I walked up and yeah. he rushed me yeah. and I got scared. I didn't, I just knew from what, if you, you know, don't hesitate because that'll be your life. Yeah. And I shot him and then he was still living. Where'd you shoot him at? In the chest. In the chest? Did he go down? He dropped to one knee and okay, down one knee, okay. I just I started having an anxiety attack and Did he say anything or did did you say anything to him? No sir, I didn't say a word to him. Okay. Uh, my uh, my anxiety was high, my mom was going in miles per hour and next thing I know he runs up behind me, he's like he's like he's like, kill him, kill him. And at first I was like, I just like, I just stared at him because I mean, I just shot him and it was first thing, it was the first time it's ever happened in my life. Mm -hmm. I, like, you know what I mean? And, and then, then what? He was like, he was like, he was like, I don't need you, I don't need, he's like, I said, I don't need this right now, I don't need this right now. I just got to yell and saying different shit. I can't quote word for word because it's, it's been, it's been since, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know, I shot again. When did you shoot him again? I think I'm in the head and I, I just had a flashback about Marlon thinking about him and yeah. I, I just lost all breath and just walked off. I walked off and I just like, and then he smacked me back in the head. He's like, come on, job. And I was just like, I just, my anxiety was killing me. And I was just, I just knew I fucked up. And I knew that I I, just, I didn't know what the fuck. I just, I was confused and scared. And at the same time, it's like, I want to get my life together. And I was wanting to get my life together. And it's just, I just had certain shit holding me back. And I just, I was starting to lose, at that time period, I was starting to lose hope for life and everything because I didn't even plan on making it to 18. I thought I was going to die before 18 just because how shit is. Yeah. And it happened and... That's it. Well, who took the stuff out of his pockets? Alberto. And what all did y'all, did Alberto take out of his pocket? I didn't see everything until the last when we got back, and it was just some weed, and he put some other objects in his pocket, but I didn't even, I was, my mom was everywhere from what I just did. Mm -hmm. I was scared to death. I was scared to death. I so was, you guys didn't run off at first and then run back and take those items and No, he made me chunk everything. He was like, he was like, anything but that chunk it. So don't keep it chunky. And I was like, 
I was just still shocked. I was just still, I mean, just my life, I knew my life was going to be changed forever after that. Yeah. And, no, but... and sir, I don't ask for sympathy at all. I'm not asking for sympathy at all. Well, you're, you're, you're doing the right thing right now, and here's why, because, you know, people are going to look at this, and they're going to see an 18, a scared 18-year-old kid who was 17 at the time that, you know, made a, a horrible, terrible choice. Um, but, you know, other people are going to be held accountable. I have uh, warrants for Alyssa. Um, even though she came in here and gave me a full statement. Yes, you know, a while back. Um, I wonder that. Alberto, what's Alberto's full name? I don't know his full name, sir. I promise I'm not his I do not know his full name. Okay. Um, That's one thing I was being serious about, though, was I promise you, like, I How old is Alberto? I don't know, sir. I'm telling you, like, I barely knew him like that. I knew him for maybe, like, me and him just got back cool. We ain't seen each other since like elementary, you know what I mean? So y'all were hanging out? That y'all were all pretty good friends? In Oklahoma, like yeah. younger elementary days, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We knew each other from then, but you know, we done lost contact and we leaned back up through some of my friends and I mean, I started hanging around the wrong crowd again and that's how we got, you know, met. Gotcha. And you know, I'm just afraid, you know, because basically, bro, I'm not even lying to you, you already know I snitched. And, I mean, a lot of people would take that as, like... Who's that? Alberto. Probably with the younger picture of Alberto. Yes, sir. And, I mean, I, I, I know what happened. You know, you, know, you know what they say about what happens to snitches. You know, people that tell, and, I mean, I just, I mean... Well, they all pull off on you. I already know they did. I so, and, but you, you're doing the right thing because... You're telling what you did and how this went down and and why, and that goes a long way later on down the line, on you know what they decide to do over at court on you know what do we do with this kid? So okay. I've got another question though. Mm -hmm. I mean I'm not I'm not you know I mean I fully understand. I mean I understand that you know what the pain is behind that. I mean I can't say I understand because everybody's pain is different. My pain was different. But, I mean, I'm not. Is that Alberto? I'm, I'm, I'm probably never going to get to see, I don't want to, I don't, I want to be able to have a life, you know? I've always just wanted to live my, bro, I wanted to get away from my springs eventually. I wanted my own life, bro. And I, I just. You know, you know, I always tell people, because, you know, I've been doing this almost 20 years, and and without a doubt, so, every time someone comes in here and sits down and tells me, you know, their their deal, and, and it's always that, you know, I get sucked back into this this life or this world because, you know, misery loves company. It's always around me. And, you know, I always tell people, man, the, the best way to, to deal with that is just to get away from, you know, hot springs. But, you know, you're young as you are, it's kind of tough. I didn't have, I, I don't have much money, sir. Like, my family is very... Who's that? A snake. And his pet duck. You know, okay, yeah. He yeah. a pet duck. He used, to, he used to be like a brother to me. You know, I used to care about Nick a lot. I mean, I watched him grow up, you feel? Yeah, what happened? I mean... I mean, it wouldn't even necessarily just that we split up like that. We just... Out of love and caring for people, and I care about people. I don't want to bring drama to people's lives, so I just... Understood, you know what I mean? Right. And I just, I took it away from him. I didn't want, I didn't, I really didn't. I don't. Um, now, Josh Parcells and, and Myron. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, Myron. They were over at Nick's earlier, but they had. Uh, they left. They, they went home, man. Yeah. I was supposed to chill with Myron the next day. I mean, it, Sir, I promise you, like, this shit was not supposed to happen, like, and I... And well, you are just going to rob him, right? That was going to be the end of it. Yes, sir. And he, he rushed in, you shot him, and he went down, and Alberto was telling you to to kill him, correct? Yes, sir. 
How close were you when you shot him in the head? I don't remember the exact details. Everything just went. Just it just happened so fast. It's just like it just happened fast. It happened so fast. I I can't say exactly how. Yeah. It happened fast and. I know, I know I fucked up, I know I did, and I'm, I'm sir, this is truly coming from my heart, I'm sorry for lying, but I'm just scared, mm-hmm. I'm just, I'm just fucking scared, I don't, I don't, I, I never wanted this fucking life, I didn't, I, I swear to God, I never wanted this fucking life, mm-hmm. I, I just want to be normal, I wanted to have a normal fucking life with my parents, and all that, but, I mean, I did, I did so much shit myself too. I mean, when I was younger, mm-hmm. all that shit, that was unnecessary, you know? And I got out and with good intents. I had, I had, I mean, I had them for a while. Mm-hmm. Well, I haven't heard your name for a while. I'm telling you, sir, I was, I was trying to do good, sir. I even tried getting multiple different jobs. I worked at different jobs since I got out. Like, mm-hmm. I was really trying and I, I started getting somewhere and then started having the wrong people around again and slowly started going back into that lifestyle and then I was just, I'm a SoundCloud rapper, and some of the guns I take pictures with, they're not even my guns. I promise you they're not. Like, I can, I can really, like, that's one thing I was truthful about, too, in the past. Well, I'm, I'm glad you said that, because you, you brought up something. You said that you didn't have that 4 or 5 on you at the time, but you, you went, someone else had it? Yeah. Who'd you go get? Who, who had it? Alberto. So, I mean, Alberto brought it with him to the house, or was he already at the house when you and Alyssa got there? I let him borrow it. Okay, so did he bring it back to you that night? Or? I just, I used it and he was going to take it back with him. And then, because I, I, I was slowly trying to, like, I was, after this, I ain't going to lie to you, after this, one thing I was planning on getting rid of it, and I, I, I didn't want it anymore. I didn't want it, I was really, I, I, I can't, I mean. Where is it now? But the four five, mm-hmm. it was after we threw it in the creek. I ain't seen it since. Okay, so he threw it in the creek, not you. Yes, sir. Uh, what else did Alberto take off of you? Remember? Sir, I don't really remember too much. He just stuck it in his pocket and everything, and that's all I knew. I just seen him start running his pockets, and I'm just. I mean, I didn't try to show him like I was freaked out because I didn't want to freak him out, make him think something. And yeah. I didn't want to And then you're having to deal with him. Yeah. yeah. And I, I just, I tried playing it cool, but I was literally freaking out. And I went back there and I had an anxiety attack real bad. And I left, I left over there and I didn't speak to him again for a while. And then I checked on him just because I didn't want no time. What did, what did he say when we all talked again? Just made jokes. About killing Josh, or about how it happened, and he he just was. You know how that goes. Mm-hmm. Um, well, where's Alberto living now? I know he was over in Talisman, but sir, I really don't know. I haven't talked to him in a minute. Uh, When's the last time you? Where was the last place you knew him to live? Uh, Talisman. Talisman? That's the last place I know. Because they were right next door to the house that got hit by the tree or something? His parents still, it was either with his parents or was um, that just relatives? Because his parents were living on Virginia Street. I didn't really get to meet his family like that. Okay. I didn't really like, I, I just knew he lived in that area. Yeah. I didn't know really exactly what house he lived in or none of that. I just knew he lived in that general area because that's where we, we'd all link up. Yeah. And I we just started linking up. Like, we just started linking up with them. Like, it was like, we had a small friend group. It was me, Myra, Nick, you know, mm-hmm. Josh. Yeah. And we, we skateboard and just do little stuff like that. And I mean, mm-hmm. smoke weed. That's That was our thing. And I'm not going to lie to you. And then, mm-hmm. I mean, I had a past of doing dumb shit. I'm not gonna lie to you, doing dumb shit, shit, and then I, I never was expecting to do some shit like this. And then this happened, and I'm, I mean, I don't, I just, I don't want to be seen anything less, and I want to be seen as a human too, and I don't want to 
He will ask well, never knock us out. This is part of it right here. Because mm -hmm. honestly, if you just sat there and just kept blowing smoke up my tailpipe, and all the stuff that you know that we had on you about how little remorse that you showed to some of these people, and now we're getting the, the truth from you, and about you know your side and you know what happened, and that you do feel some remorse. Yeah, that's 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 yeah. that's the start, okay? I'm not gonna tell you that things are gonna be easy from here on out, but I'm very my family's very low uh, low income. Mm -hmm. And I know that I mean I've had public defenders in the past before and I mean mm -hmm. there's not much I can do unless I have money and I mean that's how I've always looked at it. And I, well, I'll be honest with you, you know, we've we've always you know, our public defenders do a good job. And, you know, I can't tell you how this is going to play out later on down the line, okay? Because that's, that, you know, unfortunately, that is not my my job. My job is to get, get you know, the, case the truth everything. out of people. So I told you the truth, and I promise you my nana didn't know anything other than that because I, I didn't want to stress. I didn't want her to see me like that. I didn't want her to think of me like that. Yeah. Well, you know how that matters? You know how much that matters to me? The only two people I have in this world that really touch my heart is my girlfriend that I've been with. I me and her broke up when going through time period and I mean I was just messing with Alyssa basically for money. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna be truthful. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff on her phone then. I'm gonna be truthful to you. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be hundred percent honest with you. I was messing with her for money because I I'm real, my nana needs we're, we're a low income family. We are. We're very we don't have I'm real poor son, I know how it is. And mm. I just I just the image of getting us away from there yeah. it was just so amazing and it's just that's the only thing I look forward to. Yeah. And I just, I mean, I, mean, I just, uh, uh, but I have I, to look at it from, and, and you can probably understand this, I have to look at it from Joshua Severed's perspective at this point. And I hate it for him. I swear to God, I hate it for him. He is, what, 20 years old? Yeah. And he will never breathe another breath in his life. I know. That's fair enough. It did you did you go to his um, memorial when they did the walk and all that? That's fair. Okay. I couldn't do that. I, I couldn't. I could not do that. That that's I couldn't. Do okay. Because that. that's that's somewhere down the line, someone saying that they thought you were there. And sir, I, I promise you, I'm not. I'm not heartless, dude. I got the biggest. I got a big ass heart, man. And it. Me. I'm not gonna lie to you. It pissed me bad. That it does me. I just, I didn't want to get nobody in trouble when I knew what I did, and I just, I, I, I was scared. I mean, I'm scared. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm scared. I mean, I, when the when the long guns got into my face today, I mean, I just, I, all the thing I think about was my nana, and, and just, and I just, I mean, I'm guilty. I'm, I'm guilty, but I just, I don't want this to be the rest of my life. I don't want it to be. I, well, you're doing the right thing to make sure. I would do anything to have a shot back in my life and be a fuck my nana again and be free again. I don't. I, I mean, I, there's a low chance of that. And I feel like there's a low chance of that. And I mean, I know there is a very low chance that it's serious. And I, I hate it. I swear to God, I hate it. But I mean, it happened. And I don't want that to happen. I don't want. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, just like a lot of things in life, you know, we can't take it back. And once the bullets are out of the barrel, you know, that's it. Have your honest opinion about me, sir. Like, look me in my eyes and because mm -hmm. I know. Go ahead and ask me. I'll tell you. I'm sorry, I'm just. Just see you over there. Do you really? I promise I'm not worth this. Do you think I'm worth No. I don't want to no. fucking be. I don't want to no. be. <laughs> so cool. Kids sitting in here right now talking to me, I don't believe it's heartless. And like I told you earlier, <laughs> you, you, you screwed up and you made a mistake. I'm scared and I'm just so, I'm, I'm trusting you because I, I ain't never trusted. I don't trust people and I'm trusting you because the reason I'm telling you the truth is because I'm, I mean, I know you know her, a lot of shit already, but I mean, I, I, I'm trusting you because I just want it better. I want better for my life. I'm ready for better and I mean, <laughs> Well, once, uh, you know, like I, I said, I don't know how this is going to play out for you in the long run. Man, I'm so okay, scared. I already told you what you're facing, right? Yes, sir. And 
if, like I said, and, and this is the truth, okay? If you just sat there and blew smoke up my tailpipe and had zero remorse, and people that are on that online saw that Snapchat that you sent and all this other kind of stuff that we had, and these witnesses coming forward saying that you didn't have a, a guilty conscience about this whatsoever, and all these things that you had said and whatever, you know, then I couldn't see, look you in the eye right now and tell you that, that I think you're a good kid, you just made a bad decision, okay? But now we have to, to deal with what we I have. I know, I know, that's, that's why, I mean, you know. And that was a kid named Joshua Severns laying in a ditch, dead. No, sir. Because he was just out trying to buy some weed and no, I, have sex. I know, sir. That's all he was wanting to do. I just, I didn't, I did it, I mean, I did do it, but I didn't want that to, I mean, I just, it was a reflex and I just, I'm just scared right now. I know you. I'm terrified. I mean, you don't understand how many nights I've thought about this shit and trust me. And I mean, I have so much bad shit going through my head now, and I just I don't even look at myself the same. I don't look at myself the same. I I literally just now started trying to get my shit together, and then I linked up with Aiden. Not gonna lie to you, I linked up with Aiden and. I mean, that's the only place I had at the moment. Yeah. Besides my name is, and I mean, it was Because you're 18, she had to, did she, she didn't kick you out of the apartment, or she, she just said she could kicked me out before I was 18, and she just would like, you know, she just sit there and be like, Peyton, I miss you, come home, and I'd come home, because you know what I mean? I, I love the, I love the hell out of my name. My name is one of the most purest people you ever meet, and she did not raise me like this. Yeah. She just one lady that did not raise me like this, and... When she says come home, I mean, I do come home until she gets mad at me or she's, she's mad at somebody else in the household. She got anger issues, and I mean, who, who doesn't? Yeah. And she kicks me out, and I go back on my own and find somewhere to stay. And usually when I'm asking for people, it's the only people that really answer back are the ones that's not doing good. It's, or the ones that, or dirty as it is, got shit going crazy for them, and they just don't. Well, I mean, this kind of going with the hating kid. Um... Whose 380 was that in the in the car? It was Hayden's. Hayden's? I took most of the pictures with it. Yeah, I couldn't. Yeah, because there's several pictures of you with the. I definitely, with I definitely took a lot of pictures with it because it was a nice guy and I did like yeah. it. And, and I'd already been told that you were sporting a 380 and you were carrying it around with you everywhere you went. I didn't have it on me, but it was around me. It was, I can say it was around me for a while. And it's been around for a while. I mean, it's just different people had it. Well, is that gun going to come back to the shooting over on Combs Road that Hayden's name got brought up? I don't know, sir. No clue, sir. Because I really definitely do not know about that one. Okay. All right. Well, you know. um, well I appreciate being honest. All right. Now, now we've got the truth out there. The f things that you told me are exactly, uh -huh, were exactly what I already knew. All right. Um, we're going to go out here and finish up some paperwork. You're going to get your photograph. Um, I'm not going to be able to keep in contact with you because, I mean, I don't want to sit and not know anything. So I, I literally, my brain would eat it. So. Well, here's what happened. Okay, well, here's the problem. Um, after today, you know, we take you to the jail um, um, and you have your initial appearance. I, I can no longer legally talk to you unless you reached out to, 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 you know, through the jail mail or whatever you want to call it, jail mail. Um, that you wanted to speak to me about something. Um, uh, but, you know, uh, normally, no, after today, um, you know, you'll probably see me at some hearings or something like that. Um, but you're going to be advised each step of the process uh, after you have your initial appearance, which will be in the next couple of days, uh, usually within 48 hours. Uh, you'll be in front of a judge. They'll look at everything. They'll... Um, I do the, you know, like we talked about the bail determination form. You know, it's set at five hundred thousand dollars right now. Okay. Five hundred thousand. That's uh, uh, right. Uh, it's, but you know, that's something that you could, you know, ask the judge for, you know, a lower bond, uh, and for this reason or that reason. But you'll, you'll, you'll need to discuss that, um, you know, when that time comes. Okay. I know, sir. I'm just. 
I don't want to be left in the cell alone with just, with just sitting there not knowing shit. Because I don't, I, I literally, I've, I've had done so much dead time from when I was younger. I mean. Well, here's what's going to happen. When you go to the jail, um, they're going to. What people you. know about me talking? Do what not? What people, other people know about me talking? Well, I mean. In jail, because I don't. Not in jail, no. But, I mean, you know, I like care. I said, other people are going to be arrested for this. I mean, I already. Melissa's well, going to be arrested. Alberto's going to be arrested. Uh, we'll be talking to Nick and Detriana, talking to them. Okay, we'll see how that shakes out. Because you said Nick was part of the planning of this, right? At the beginning, then we, he got discluded. Yeah, and I was like, he was like, I'm glad. I was very glad he got discluded. Okay. Because he's a good, he's a good. He didn't man. participate in any way of setting any of this up or talking. He just was there. Just was there. He was just there, and he's he's a, he's a good man. I mean, and they were on it too. They trying to didn't know much either. And she, I mean, me and her not about this is nothing. I don't like they trying. I do not like they trying. I have hate in my heart for they trying. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you just from the truth of my heart, because I mean, yeah. no one deserves to go down for something they didn't do. And who else did you tell about all this? I didn't really talk too much about it. I didn't. I wouldn't. I, the reason I started getting cocky with it and said what I said that one day was because I started getting threatened a lot by. Mm -hmm. Threatened a lot by their Talk group of friends, yeah. and they were saying they're smoking Marlin, and it's just like you smoking Marlin. You know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. that's you know you, you you come at me and you're saying you're right. I mean before that you were saying that, so I mean yeah. And y'all don't know what it is like to lose somebody, and y'all just sitting there like saying it, saying it, saying it, saying it. And I mean I know it's words. I know it's words, and it's not my supposed to get on my skin. But you know Marlin's a very sensitive subject to me. I, uh -huh. I mean, it, it literally it just changed my whole fucking point of view of life. I just didn't understand. I didn't understand a lot, and I still don't understand a lot. I'm still, I'm still very fucking, I'm young. Mm -hmm. I'm young as fuck. I don't know shit. I don't barely know shit. I don't know how to do my own taxes. I don't know how to do a lot of shit. There's still a lot of shit in this world I never got to even do. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I understand I'm fucked up, but I mean, shit, I mean, I... I just want to, I mean, I understand I'm about to do some time. I already know I am. I mean, I know I am because, I mean, it's it's somebody else's life, and I understand that. I fully understand that, and I, I swear to God, I think about this shit every day. But I want a chance to have a, I want to have a chance to breathe again, too, in the freedom. I want to be, I want to have a chance to be able to have a family. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to have a chance to get, have a normal life again, but I know what this charge is. I mean, I know yeah. it's a serious I mean, this is, charge. It's serious. It is serious, and I... But I can't deny it. I'm not going to deny it no more because I just I, I, I was afraid. But I need to be honest with you. My nana didn't know. They didn't know. Nick knew, mm -hmm. but he didn't go. He didn't have to participate in any of this. The first time he went with us. Where did you all go there? To the house? That vacant house? Was he armed or anything? When you no, sir. The only person had to come was you. At that time, at the house, no, I didn't have possession of it yet. Okay, so. When you guys went to the apartments, when I got possession. Okay, but did when you guys went to the house to meet him first, and you was taking too long? Who did anybody have a gun? Just I so. And he had that that high point, but it was your gun. But he was holding it. I mean, he was kind of paying it off, but but he had it. He had it. And I mean, it was it was. I wouldn't charge him much for it because I didn't want it. I didn't I'm almost. I was trying to get. I was trying to fucking. I was trying to get out that shit. I didn't want to fucking. I already knew what I built an image on me on Instagram of, and I mean, mm -hmm. it started already making me lose people, and I just I slowly started just realizing it. But I mean, I was realizing it, but I was just like, I just I didn't I, in the position I was in. I was stressed, depressed. I mean, I didn't. I don't. I I have literally so much mental shit going on in my head. I can't help sometimes with some shit. I can't help how I think. I can't help. I. But when you guys you guys left Nick's house first to go meet him at that vacant house, it was you, Alberto, and Nick. Alberto had that forty five. So all three of you went to that house, and Alberto had the gun, and y'all were gonna rob him there, but he never showed, or it was taking too long, or what was the deal? Uh, I, I just know like he didn't show up. Okay. And, um, then you guys go back to the house? Yeah, or... I went back to Nick's and we were just going to call it off and not do it. And I got relieved and then out of nowhere the text popped up mm -hmm. and he texted back and I just, I knew like there's no way I could say no, I, can't, I couldn't talk him out of it. Who was who was setting that up? More 
or two. Okay. I, I mean, of course, I had to know because yeah. I'm involved, but... Yeah. What about Nick's participation in the, at that point? He just... He knew less than I do, actually. Okay. But he just... I mean, him and Alberto continue to hang out with each other afterwards, and I just quit hanging out with him. Yeah. And then you and Alberto... Nick stays at the house, and you and Alberto go down to the park. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, I was just trying to clarify who went with who, when, and where, and just making sure we, we I want to make sure Nick didn't go down there with y'all to Hollywood. So no, sir, he did. Okay. I just want to make sure I was clear on that. All right, man, well, let me go out of here. We're going to get the paperwork. It should be already done. Um, How long do you think I'm going to have to sit here and wait? Because I don't... I, not, not very long, because uh, the paperwork's already done. All we got to do is get your photograph real quick, um, and then uh, we'll have a unit come transport you down to the jail. <coughs> um, I've never been in the county before. Uh, it's a it's a big place, but I'm already known. I mean, but you'll get booked in down there, and then you'll have your initial appearance, and then we'll. Uh, uh, Who's going to be my judge? Well, I don't, uh, whoever. I don't, I, that, I don't, I with the COVID even, stuff right now, everything's kind of all. You know, I don't know when they're they're usually most your initial appearance will most likely be through uh, TV. I guess I'm assuming I don't know because uh, we filed this direct in circuit court as opposed to it going down to district court first, um, because you're a juvenile at the time this occurred. Um, so we did that. Uh, so I don't know how they do their arraignments and your, your initial appearance, if you will. Um, that's just something that, you know, they, you'll be told, you know, this is, you know, you'll see a judge tomorrow or the next day, or the case may be, and how they do it where you need to be. Um, they'll, you know, get you out of the... Sir, you know, I, I, your I, I'm not trying to talk your head off. I'm mm -hmm. just, I'm not... I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm scared. You know? No, I, I understand. I get it. But just uh, sit in here, relax, okay? Put your head down, take a nap, whatever. It, we won't be that long. Um, uh, we're going to have another guy come get you, get your picture back here just real quick. Yeah. And then, I know uh, the phone costs, costs money. You don't have any. No, the phone's that well. You're, when you get down to the jail, they've got all these free phones. You will have to call. Uh, I, I don't know how they set up, but your, your phone calls down there are free at first. And then when they get you booked in and they put you back in a pod, uh, you need to go with your Nana. And the guys there will tell you the best way to do that because there's, if you go through the regular service, it's really expensive, but your Nana can get like a uh, certain, uh, uh, get like a certain account or something like that and put money on your, your book so you can call using that account or something, however that works. Uh, but it's a lot cheaper. And it's you know we got one question though. Uh huh. So the people I got stopped with today, mm -hmm. I didn't really know the driver like that. I mean mm -hmm. I know Hayden, I, Hayden, me and Hayden are close. I mean me and Hayden, are, yeah, we were close. But I mean he was getting dragged into bullshit and he was doing bullshit I didn't approve of. Well, whose meth is that in his in that bag? That was not mine. Okay. That was not mine. Well, why'd y'all stop at the at, at your nana's? I stopped at my nana's. I wanted to see my nana. Okay. I love. I, 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 I take time out of my day to go see my nana because okay. right, I mean it's my nana. I love yeah. her death. The only person I've ever had in my whole entire life, besides you know. Well, get the phone stuff squared away because you need to talk to her. You know, during. I mean, the day. what was what was caught on me? Like what was caught on me? Like it was just a rolling tray. Like that's all I had on me. Uh, I, I could care less. But I know. I, I know, sir. I'm just. Saying, I want to make sure you were involved with Hayden in this other deal where this kid got shot over there on uh, Collins Road. I heard about it. So, and then I know that they're big shooting over on Hobson School or some crap. You said what, sir? There's some big shootout. I don't know. Okay. Okay. I'm not here. I think Hayden's been ripping and rolling a little bit too. Because I mean, he's been around for a while. You know, I mean, he's yeah. he's 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 a good friend of mine. But then I I kind of see where his mentality's at, I and mean, it's kind of something I'm trying to escape from. And, I told him that we started finally chilling out, but then he just like started like, "Oh, I need money, I need money, I need money," and you know, not everybody goes to get money the right way. And where's he? You know, where's he getting his meth from? I don't know. Okay. All right, let me go out here and uh, I gotta refill my water anyway. Uh, so I'll come get you and get your uh, get your photograph, and then like I said, we'll get you down to the uh, jail, and then uh, you'll be able to do make call with your nana and do whatever you need to do. Okay. So, just sit tight for me, man. If you need to go to the bathroom or anything, just tap on the window and someone will come get you, all right? All right, sir. I'm back. I'm sorry. Okay. 
you, you, you'll have an opportunity to say that to his family at some point in time, okay? We'll go to school and study. Okay. After confessing to the killing of Joshua Severns and implicating Alyssa Andre, she was swiftly apprehended at her workplace and taken to the police station for questioning. Due to Peyton being 17 years old at the time of the murder, he was not eligible for the death penalty under Arkansas law. In January of 2022, Peyton pleaded guilty to first-degree murder, reduced from capital murder, and aggravated robbery in connection with Joshua Severn's death. He received a 40-year prison sentence with 15 years suspended for each count to be served concurrently. The felony firearm enhancement initially filed in the case was withdrawn. Alyssa Andre, Peyton's accomplice, faced charges of first-degree murder and aggravated robbery, both carrying potential life sentences. Andre initially pleaded not guilty by reason of mental disease or defect on August 3, 2020, which delayed the case pending evaluation. She was released on a $100,000 bond on September 16, 2020, following an evaluation at the Arkansas State Hospital on November 9, 2020, she was deemed fit to proceed with trial. Ultimately, Andre pleaded guilty to one count of manslaughter, amended from first-degree murder, and received the maximum sentence of 10 years in prison. She also pleaded guilty to one count of aggravated robbery, resulting in a 15-year prison term, to be served concurrently with the manslaughter sentence. 